Tropical storm warning is in effect across Trinidad and Tobago as well as Grenada. Uh, the name of this storm is Brett. And just to give you a bit of information, a tropical storm is an organized system of clouds, thunderstorms with a defined circulation. That is the difference from a, basically a tropical storm and what it was earlier. The Hurricane Hunters aircraft passed into the system late on Monday and have basically found that a circulation and therefore they have now classified it as a tropical storm. It now has winds above 63 kilometers per hour. Now, the tropical storm warning is, is in effect for Trinidad and Tobago, Grenada, northeast of Venezuela, up to Narguita Island as well. And obviously, uh, they'll be expecting these conditions within uh, six hours for Trinidad and Tobago as we get towards uh, later on uh, tomorrow, definitely for Grenada, Venezuela, and uh, further west we go. Now, the worst impacts of uh, this system will not necessarily be the winds. It may it will more than likely be the rains. Torrential downpours up to 125 millimeters is expected. Expected. Meanwhile, we'll still be seeing those rough seas, especially towards those northern and eastern shorelines, and also the possibility of mudslides along the coastline of Venezuela. It's quite mountainous there, as well as for Trinidad and Tobago, we could be seeing some landslides here as well. Now, this uh, system is set to be a huge rainmaker, as I said, 125 millimeters in possible 24 hours or less. Now, it's bearing in mind that that's almost half the month's rainfall that we usually expect for June. So, looking at uh, what's happening across in both islands, definitely not much chance. Of seeing the sunshine as we go through the day definitely a lot of the cloud a lot of the showers thundery ones at that especially across the hillsides especially along the hillsides you will see the possibility of a landslides as well and that the ground is already saturated so further rainfall will only exasperate the situations there also for those who are in low-lying areas the possibility of a flash flooding is also likely particularly in those downpours as they continue as we go into the early part of the day so definitely for for Tuesday morning into the afternoon, still keeping those thunder showers running along, gusty winds as well, as I said, up to tropical storm force. We're looking at obviously making conditions quite difficult, not only for walking, so obviously you're advised to stay indoors. And meanwhile, the rains are going down towards the southern areas of Trinidad, definitely a factor there in those low lying areas around the river plain, out towards San Fernando, and still keeping conditions quite stormy as you go through the end of a Tuesday. Temperature wise, we're not seeing temperatures set to go any higher than a 32 degrees Celsius. It will feel comfortable, but obviously you shouldn't be outside for that matter. Out towards Wednesday, conditions are still set to be quite unsettled. Even though a tropical storm Brett will be out in the Caribbean Sea moving quite quickly, we may only see that break into the cloudiness once we get to a Thursday. And then there's another set of our rains expected on a Friday. Now for mariners as well as of boaters and fisher folk, you all know that there's a rough seas bulletin in effect along those especially northern, southern and eastern shorelines. Exercise extreme caution that says the Met Service and obviously with storm force winds up to 40 knots from the east and then going towards the southeast looking at very rough conditions indeed with uh, large waves of a uh, four and a half meters possible further out in the Atlantic. So here's a look at your high tides bearing in mind that any flooding may well be higher in uh, those uh, high tide times so be mindful about that. So that's your weather update and that's it from me.